Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Peyton. It is nice to meet you. It is nice to see you. Okay, now I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I look at my empty island, which is empty because I'm starting a new theme for the five millionth time, which I know many of you might be as well. And I just look at my plain island and I think, now what? What can I possibly do to fill this island now? I've already looked on Pinterest, I've already watched every YouTube video ever, I've looked on Instagram, and I see so many amazing builds, but how can I really make them my own and do something different that I haven't done before? Well, have no fear because Peyton's Corner is here to help bring the pizzazz, the, the excitement, and dare I say the chaos to your Animal Crossing New Horizons builds. For today's video, I decided to come up with four different spicy design challenges that will pretty much force you to think outside of the box that you normally think of when making builds on your islands. I want to also say a big shout out and thank you to the Sloth Squad members because this video would not be possible without the members because we actually did this as a design challenge night last month for our member event and you guys helped me out so, so, so much. So thank you to the members. So much love to you all. There is never any pressure to become a member of the channel, but if you're interested, there is information down below in the description, as well as by clicking the join button. But like I said, there is no pressure to become a member. You support the channel just by being here, leaving a like, and subscribing, of course. Now, before I get into what the actual design challenges are, I just wanted to let you know that I did try to make these challenges pretty vague in case you wanted to do them as either exterior or interior challenges. Maybe you're already a master at exterior builds and you're looking to spice up your interiors, or vice versa. These challenges could work for either interior or exteriors, and there is no size limit on any of these builds, so if you want to make them a giant part of your island, you absolutely could, or if you just want a tiny, tiny little taste of the challenge, you could also do it in a really small section as well. There's no rules when it comes to that. That being said, let's get into the four design challenges that I created for you guys. Challenge number one will celebrate the Animal Crossing villagers. From beautiful to ugly, we know there are some interesting villagers in this game. In case you don't know much about me, I am currently working on an island where I auto-filled all 10 of my villagers as a way to kind of get some new faces around, and also, I wanted to pick my theme based off of the villagers that were given to me. So this design challenge kind of celebrates that idea of getting a random villager and having to kind of roll with the punches and see how can you make a design for a villager that you did not choose. So I found a random website that will generate a villager for you. And basically this first design challenge is just gonna be to head over to that site. I'll put the info in the description below and randomly generate a villager and create a build based off of whoever you get. Like I said, I did do all of these challenges for a member night, so I will be showing you the clips of my builds that I made during that event, keeping in mind that I did mine on a 30 minute per design time frame, so my builds might not be as amazing as I know yours are going to be, but it's kind of just so you get an idea. Anyway, let's go ahead and see what villager I got and what that inspired me to make. I have the random villager generator here. I've noticed that on this website they generate villagers that are not, some of them aren't from Animal Crossing New Horizons, so if I get one that's from an old game that I don't know, I'll just re-roll. But this will just randomize and give you a villager, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna randomize, get a villager, and make a build based off of how we feel about the villager, how much we like the villager, so feel free to randomize and get your own villager, but this is the one I'll be doing. Let's see, let's randomize it. Okay, uh, and it's Monique. G great. As you could tell, I was thrilled to have Monique as my villager, but in a way I'm glad because I probably would never have done a build for Monique otherwise, so that's what the challenge is for. I went ahead and made a cute little dressing room for Monique. It's not too bad, but I definitely think I could have done better. Keep in mind, I did this in 30 minutes, but let me show you what some of the members made during this design challenge night.
The second design challenge is inspired by my friend Elephant Parade over here on YouTube and on Twitch. Ellie went ahead and made a design challenge a few months back where it's a Nook's Cranny challenge. Basically, you go into Nook's Cranny and you have to use the items that are for sale in Nook's Cranny to be in your build somewhere. So I decided to make my version of that, but with Able Sisters. So the premise for this challenge is going to be that you go into your Able Sisters and you have to buy one of each item from the three different display areas in Able Sisters. You need to use them actually in your build and let them inspire your build as well. This is what happened when I went into Able Sisters to start this challenge. So you're gonna go into Able Sisters. And you see how there are two rows of things here, and then there's like one row on the side. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick one item from each row, so like pick one from the back row, pick one from the top row, and then pick one item from the little side display. I look like I'm pretty lucky here because some of these things are the same kind of vibe. Looking at mine, I think I want this little brown dress. The, maybe these pumps. I think we might do like a library, like a little library lady. I think this is giving me library realness. I'm going for this dress, those shoes, and then the glasses is what I'm gonna do. And that is exactly what I did. I feel like I got super lucky with this challenge and the three items that I got from Able Sisters all kind of went together. So they gave me librarian vibes. So I made you a cute little library build. I mean, the villagers seem to love it. I love it. I think that I definitely lucked out with this one because you could certainly get some strange clothing combinations from Able Sisters. And overall, I really like how the build came out. And I think sometimes it can be hard to incorporate clothing into your build. So I like this one as a challenge to kind of figure out ways to make clothing look good in your builds. And here's what the members came up with. This next design challenge is a little bit harder. I think they get a little bit harder as we go, but hey, I told you I'm bringing the spice and I really wanna see how you guys do with it. But this one is the storage challenge. If you guys are like me, maybe you have a kooky storage where you have a lot of different random kinds of items. And this is gonna be the challenge that makes you use those random strange items. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna open your storage and you'll see that there are different categories at the top of your storage, like furniture, miscellaneous, clothing items, etc. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna sort your storage by time. You're gonna press the item that is most recently used and scroll all the way down and go to the item that was your least recent used. So the one you haven't used in a long time. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take those two items from each category and you're gonna put them in your build. You can use other items, but you need to make sure you use those ones. Now, I know that can sound a little confusing, so I'm gonna go ahead and just show you how that went for me and also what the design ended up looking like. So I'm sorting it by time. So from each category, you're gonna get two items. You're gonna grab two items. You're gonna start from your most recent item. So for me, that's whatever this is. For me, it's a Zen cushion. And my opposite of that, the item that I haven't used. So my most recent item and my least most recent item. You know what I mean? Oh my god, not the sleigh. Great. And we're going to do this for each of the categories. So in here, it looks like the office supplies. And what am I going to do with this? Okay. I guess we're making a Christmas scene. If you're doing an exterior, you'll just do... Furniture, miscellaneous, fashion items, creatures, and other. So for fashion items, I've got one of these pink pair of shoes, I think. And then the least recent one is a pink umbrella. Wow, great. I have no bugs. This is... Oh my god, a turtle. And a cricket. And in here, we got... Ooh, this is a KK song. We'll get the KK song. And least recent used is Snowflakes. Great. I present to you Basement Core. This is the build that I came up with with the help of the members. I feel like 
This one's actually my favorite. Sure, it's a basement with a bunch of random items, but I think that I never use most of these items and I kind of like how they all look together. And I definitely wouldn't have picked them on my own, but let's see what the members did with this challenge. And for peak chaos with our final design challenge, you're gonna need either the rainbow wheel in game or a random number generator that goes numbers one through eight. What you're gonna do is you're gonna spin the wheel or your number generator twice and the number you get is going to be the total number of items that can be used in the build. For example, if you spin a one two times, you can only use two items in the build. You can repeat the items, but that is the max number of different items you can use. This challenge is really great for trying to figure out how you can make a lot with a little and trying to figure out how you can use one item to be multiple different things. Let me go ahead and show you how that went for me when I did this challenge. Oh, okay, just overshot it. All right, so I got six. So I got six, I got six, and now I get to spin it again. I'm gonna go for seven. Okay. I think I overshot that. Nope, seven, okay, cool. Six and seven, so I have 13 different items that I can use for this. I do not remember for the life of me why I was trying so hard to spin a five. I think I was just trying to show off that I knew how to spin the wheel, but obviously I don't. Anyway, I got 13 items and these are the 13 I picked. I made it kind of like a cute plant shop. I also made it a rule that once I picked the items, I couldn't change them. And here's what the members made. you guys have it. I really hope you enjoyed these four spicy design challenges to kind of get you to think outside the box when it comes to Animal Crossing New Horizons builds. Like I said, you could make these builds interiors, exteriors, big, small. I tried to make them vague so that many people could participate in whatever way they like. Once again, a huge shout out to the members who made builds for this, who allowed me to use them in this video. But I don't want this to just be members exclusive. I want to see all of your builds. So if you make a build based off of one of these challenges, feel free to send me them on Instagram or Twitter. I have both of those socials listed down below. Or you could join my Discord server and there's actually a channel called Design Challenge. So you could go ahead and post them in there to share with me and the rest of the community. I know personally, I would love to see what you came up with. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not already. We are inching our way to 4K and you could be a part of our Sloth family. I know we would love to have you. So much love, guys. I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you for being here and bye-bye.